Hi tarot friends, it's Jade here with Tarot Your Truth and I'm here today to do the uh, day one, I'm a few days late, of <laughs> the 31 days of tarot um, hashtag run by Ethany. This is my first time doing this tag because of course um, if you have visited me before you'll know that I uh, only started my channel this year. So I'm uh, quite excited. I am a few days late. I haven't been uh, at home uh, with access to all my things, so I'm uh, going to be releasing a couple at the same time. So the first uh, day, so day one, um, is about what tarot goodies did the holidays bring? And for me, that was uh, three things, or sort of four, but I guess three and a half because two of them sort of go together. So the first thing, I haven't made a pouch for this yet, is the Raven's Prophecy Tarot. There we go. Those are the backs. And um, I've been hearing, I've been hearing a lot about this about this deck on different um, on different channels. And I've heard about the books as well, which I understand this um, tarot is based on. So at some point I will buy the books and read those. Um, but I do look forward to spending some time with this with this deck. I have to admit I'm not super crazy about these orange borders. So I might end up uh, trimming those off. Or maybe I'm, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to um, trim it right down to the artwork or whether I will just trim the sides and the top and then just leave the, maybe some, actually I might even trim part of the bottom here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why they chose with this orange, but I really, anyway, I won't go through the whole thing. I will do a, um, I will do a full flip through on, on my channel uh, separately. And uh, maybe I'll, do sort of a before and after uh, trimming sort of thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm quite excited about this. At some point I will get the books as well. I understand they're good. I did listen to a full book review of uh, the first the first book um, and it sounded pretty interesting. So looking forward to that. So that was the first, um, the first goodie that the holidays brought. The second goodie I <laughs> came, I actually, um, purchased this myself for myself for Christmas and it is I've already done a walkthrough of this deck actually on my channel I'll see if I can link it um, up below maybe up there and it is the uh, Triomphi de la Luna paradoxical edition I absolutely love this deck um, I'm a big fan of the Marseille style or um, ancient Italian style decks and I absolutely love the fact that this deck is um, has black background. Uh, one of the things also I found out about this deck that's on uh, Patrick Valenza's website is that this deck apparently um, if you shine the black light on it it uh, it reflects the black. Sorry, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get the glare out there. Um, there, I think that's better. So I haven't tried that. Well, one day maybe I will. I'll see if I can do that. I don't imagine you can read in the dark completely, but it might be kind kind of fun. I think February is going to be my month. February, March, maybe, um, is going to be my month for uh, working with the Marseille style and and really studying that in more depth. I did, I did edge it in a, it's a brown, I know it kind of looks black, but the edges, the borders on here are actually a very dark brown and I, I edged it sort of with the same rich chocolate brown color. So that is the Triomphi de la Luna Paradoxical Edition um, and that is goodie number two. 
All right, and number three is sort of a two-parter. And um, first part is this. Actually, this is actually the second part that I received because although I put the orders in together, I got them separately. So I ordered the book. Um, I'm very sorry about the glare, guys. It is Madame Andorra's Book of Fortunes, um, a guide to Madame Andorra's fortune cards and mystical wisdom throughout the ages. This book looks fantastic. It's, it's pretty thick, actually. I don't know how many pages are here. There's about 300, there's over 300 pages, about 310. And um, I can't remember actually if I, sh if I think I've shown this on my channel before when I first got it, I think. But let's see here. So we've got um, the royal court. So the realm of fable, the bestiary, the treasury, the elements, and so those are all of the cards. Um, it gives you information on reading the cards. Hopefully I'm not knocking that too, too hard. And then the wisdom of the ages, which goes into all sorts of different um, types of divination, uh, working with cards, working with Kabbalah, working with uh, coins and dice and the seasons and alchemy and casting bones and angels and demons and I Ching and palm reading and 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 so I really look forward to spending some time with this and the cards just arrived so I've not done a walkthrough of this yet but I will do that hopefully this week let me see if I can open these without knocking everything over. So in with the cards comes a little white book. It's not too thick, maybe 29 pages. It gives you information on each card. And then I think I saw at the back there was a sample reading. A couple sample readings, actually more than a couple. Um, yeah, so basic basic information there. These are the backs, which I think are just absolutely beautiful. There's a couple of extra cards, so that's just the cover card. There's another card here. I guess this is by the same um, printing company, Monolith Graphics, the Gothic Tarot. And then we get to the cards. And like I said, I'll do a full flip through, so I won't do it here. But um, I do like this art style. They're very, they're kind of gothic, I guess, in a way. So I've not, I've not done anything with these other than just look through them because they, they did just arrive. The cardstock, by the way, is pretty thick. It's. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty thick. It's not the thinnest I've ever seen, but I really do like the, uh, I do like the artwork, I have to say. And I don't even mind the borders because it just sort of all seems to go together, especially with the black, um, the black uh, background. Let's see if we can give this one a shuffle. I did it. <laughs> that is the other thing I've done is um, I've just been really practicing this this ruffle shuffling. I know it. You know some of the card. I wouldn't do it with every uh, with every set of cards out there. Um, that didn't work so well. But um, I have been I have been practicing and. Uh, I finally am starting to, finally starting to get it. I mean, I can always do the first part, the riffle part, but then the bridge uh, was always, <laughs> was always a challenge. Anyway, so that is the goodies that um, the holidays brought to me. So it is the Madame Dora's fortune telling cards and book. The, oof. 
Triomphi de la Luna Paradoxical Edition. And the Raven's Prophecy. So that's it. Um, I'll be back shortly with uh, video number two for day two. Bye for now.